Konnichiwa everyone. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing all right wherever you're watching this from. And that, my friends, you can hear is Eri Chan. She's back again. Hello, Eri Chan. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How's it going today? I'm kind of busy. <laughs> kind of busy. Is this another thing that's trending on TikTok? <laughs> no. So legit, Eri Chan come up to me this week and she's like, Dan, guess what's trending on TikTok? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> guess what's trending on TikTok? I don't fucking know. I didn't say that. They say, look, that product is a trendy on TikTok, right? <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Look at this. It's trending on TikTok right now. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> anyway, if you're doing all right, or then you're trending on TikTok. I'm doing all right. Speaking of trending on TikTok, you got an extra Patreon this month from yeah, TikTok. from TikTok. I can't believe. I can't believe too, but there you go. Living dreams, Eri Chen. That's what you're doing. Ooh. And... Yeah, we went and make. Sorry, I'll try that again. <laughs> we didn't make a podcast last week. We were pretty busy last week, weren't we, Richard? I'm kind of busy. God. <laughs> and why? Why were we busy last week? What did we do last week? A lot. But most important thing is we got vaccinated, fam. Boo -boo. Got double jabbed. Bing bing. And now we've got some of that vaccination coursing through his veins yes um which is good got vaccinated through a chance company so that were nice mm, mm. um it's been a if you do it on your own it's a fucking ball ache like, like to go through government and stuff like that. oh that train's going across that's nice oh hello train hello train um yeah so to do it on your own is a bit of a fucking nightmare but Every chance company were like, you and your husband can come take it here. Like, watch. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. After we'd already arranged that though, the company I teach at also were like, you can come to Vaccine with us if you want. That was fucking cool. They didn't need to do that, but they did. Uh, I think all the big companies in Japan are doing that, mm. but not all the companies uh, let the employers and the families have yeah. the vaccine, just the employers. Why well, is a big fucking shit? <laughs> You're not happy about that, are you? It's so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Why is it ridiculous, Harry Chan? Because, okay, I give my employer the vaccine, but like the husband or wife or kids don't. Mm. If the fucking wife get or husband get sick, it's the same shit. <laughs> They're still going to be off work, innit? Yeah. Well, you're not happy about that one, are you? No, it's because it's stupid. Okay, well, there you go. I can tell it's stupid because you hit things when you get angry. Like whether it's door or bang your Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all them weird noises you can hear is every time banging things. But we're vaccinated. That's fucking cool. Just as we got vaccinated, everything's back under state of emergency again. Olympics have finished now, so lock everything back up. Back in your little boxes, everyone. Everything's closed again now. It's hard because we were going to go and eat curry in Kyoto the other day, but turns out it was closed. That was sad, sad times. <laughs> but we're vaccinated now, so that's good. I think I've still got a bit of anxiety about, you know, opening up anxiety, like actually going outside and doing things again. I'm not because I'm like water. Why <laughs> you like water? Right. I'm like, what's opposite of water? Stone. So I'm like stone. I'm, I'm like the rock from wrestling. <laughs> if you smell <laughs> what the rock <laughs> is cooking and what he's cooking is anxiety about life going back to normal but it'll be right it'll be it'll be all right on the night as they say um yeah so that's what we've been doing recently that were nice and recently in a somewhat weird attempt to be more healthy I bought a juice maker Ooh. it's a centrifugal juice maker and you bang stuff in it and juice pops out and that's good I've been using that instead of eating like breakfast and lunch <laughs> that is the kind of thing I watch and uh, that's trending vending, on TikTok vending shit 
channels on TV like, oh, yeah. that, just QVC. Don't say bad things about QVC. <laughs> you know Obo from when you met him in England? Uh -huh. He fucking loves QVC. <laughs> he knows everything about QVC. If he watches this, he better put a comment down below telling me everything I need to know about QVC. Oh, but you watch and you say like, oh, I want to buy this, but you never buy. See, that's where I'm different. I'm the rock again. I just bought it. Yeah. I'm not water today. <laughs> You're not water. <laughs> so I bought a juice maker, which were all well and good hmm. until I realized what is actually the to topic of today's video. How expensive fruit and vegetables are in Japan. Oh my God. I thought it was bad enough to buy a juice maker. That was pretty expensive. But Jesus Christ, man, buying fruit in Japan. Oof. It's Oof. other level. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm from England, like, fruits, not like super cheap, but relatively cheap, man, like, it's a bit weird. I'm from Brazil. Like, we can buy fruits in big fucking bags and <laughs> super cheap. <sighs> Some fruits in England are a little expensive, like exotic fruits. Yeah. But even then, they're not bad. I guess, like, stuff like mangoes are pretty expensive in England, I think. But Jesus Christ, like, even... First thing that bothers me in Japan is, like, when you go to the supermarket, all fruit looks perfect. Yeah. And it's all fucking massive, like strawberry size of your head and that. Yeah. And that means that somewhere along the supply chain, there is fucking bare wastage. Like that strawberry is only size of my fist, not size of my head. Straight in bin. Takeshi put it in bin. I'm sick of it. That banana's not a perfect moon crescent shape. Get it in bin. But Takeshi, somebody could eat that and pay a bit less than fucking a mortgage for a banana. Nope. But it ain't been not embarrassing company by putting that on sale. Oof, turns out I'm angry about that. <laughs> like, they don't put in bin. That's why, like, juice uh, and, like, already cut fruits in Japan is cheaper. Cheaper, but not cheap. No, cheaper. But, like, it's cheaper you buy uh, one little orange juice, 100% natural. Then you, you can't buy, see, but she's doing air quotes. Yeah. Then you buy like enough oranges for make one liter of juice. Yeah. Because they use the fruits that they can't sell. It's just it's stupid perfect. that you can't that they can't sell fruits that aren't perfect. Like in England, eating fruit and vegetable is like a daily normal thing to do. In Japan, that's a fucking luxury, man. Like, if you ask Japanese people, like, on average, how many pieces of fruit do you eat a day? I bet the answer is between zero and one. Mm. It's like a, a rare treat for them. Like, like banana. I, oh, I eat a banana because banana is the cheapest. Banana thing. is the cheapest fruit you can buy here. Yeah. And it's not that cheap. You can, like, you can go to Combini and you can buy an, <laughs> don't get me started here, but you can buy an individually plastic wrapped banana. <laughs> For 100 yen. And that's a fucking bargain. So that's 70 pence, give or take, for a banana that is individually wrapped in plastic. And that's the cheap end. That's a cheap end. For a bunch of bananas, you know, you're looking 400 yen for three. Three or 400 yen for three bananas. So that's not cheap, you know what I'm saying? But it's the cheapest. It's the cheapest, yeah, it's cheap. And then, like, you get to top end. You know, you see these fucking things online about, like, square watermelons and fucking... <laughs> the worst one I seen the other day in shop, it was, like, a gift box, and it were grapes and a, a melon. And the melon, like, were some honeydew melon, not a watermelon, just, like, a regular melon. And literally, one little bunch of grapes... Guess how much it were. How much? No, guess. I want you to play a game. Uh, I think at around 3,000 yen. You were like 6,000 yen, man. 6,000 yen for a fucking melon and a fucking little bunch of grapes, man. I mean, it were immaculate. It did, and grapes were fucking massive. 
but that's not quite six thousand yen. Why? First of all, why is it in a gift box? <laughs> what you get for your birthday this year? Well, my parents spent a mortgage and they gave me a box of fruit. <laughs> Well, no Nintendo Switch, no, couldn't afford that. We bought three bananas last week. <laughs> so <me. laughs> Oh my God, like... Anyway, so fruit's expensive. I think if you go to like cheaper, cheaper markets, like if you go to Lamu, mega discount land, and you go like end of day, there's some cheaper fruits and veg you can get there. Hmm. It's a bit more, re it's not good, it's a bit more reasonable. If you go, to like, you know, an Eon Whole Foods or like uh, even like Valor, yeah, you're paying a lot of money. Like you love to eat watermelon. Yes. And you get that little box of watermelon and it's like 500 yen. Yes. <sighs> but like one watermelon in Japan, like cheapest price is like uh, how I say that in saying go here quick. 1,500 yen. But then they take it to the beach and smash it up with a stick. Why? Why Japanese people? That's the thing. They go to the beach, they take a watermelon, and then they blindfold, spin around, and whack it with a stick and then eat it. Alright, cool. <laughs> if you say so. And vegetables are cheaper than fruit, but they're not like cheap yeah it's not and they're cheap. all massive like you were saying the other day in market it's like oh I can buy onions but I can only buy three in a bag and they're each size or a football oh yeah the onions here is fucking massive why I like the little ones yeah because that means you got to like if you want to use an onion you have to fucking eat an onion for a full week yeah but like you need thinking about it Japanese cuisine, if you use an onion, you use a lot of onion. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't think about that too. But like... I don't know, man. Just like some of... Because they've got a lot of fruit. There's a big selection. It's just that you can't afford it. Oh, uh, no. In Japan, don't have a big selection of fruits. I don't think mm. you can buy most... You can, you can buy fruits here that I'd never seen before. Like, what was that red one called? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. I've never even fucking seen that. I didn't even know you could eat it. It looked pretty dangerous. Oh, it's, it's good. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they've got shit here yeah, that I've never seen before. Like, J... I don't know. J fucking spec fruit. <laughs> like, there. Over there. You can't see it because we're just driving past it. But there's an Eon food style. I bet you fruit in there is fucking very expensive. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Anyway, so this week I am trying to eat a lot of fruit and vegetable and it were expensive. I think it's, everything's about a choice. Or you buy like <laughs> uh, cheap chocolates and chips junk in food. Or you spend a little more money and buy healthy food. Oh, you've got a choice. You can either buy an apple or rent an apartment. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ah oh dear. I don't know, like... I mean, one could, good way in Japan you could get fruits is for some reason you go to Konvini and you look at sandwiches, they've got like ham sandwich, tuna sandwich, kiwi fruit sandwich. Hang on, what? Kiwi fruit sandwich? Are you all right there, Takeshi? <laughs> First time I've seen it, like, kiwi and strawberry sandwich, I was like, what is this? Who, who has signed off on that? I think it's delicious. Have you tried it? Yeah. Fucking hell. I can't bring myself to try it. It upsets me too much. Against my British heritage ways. Like, you don't put fruit on some... I mean, having said that, banana sandwiches are pretty sick. <laughs> so, nah, I'm really... I'm Bite really, your own tongue! I'm reconsidering my stance on weird fruit sandwiches. A kiwi fruit wank anyway, that's that's obviously the reason I don't want it. <laughs> but no, oh, the strawberry sandwich. I yeah. buy all the time in the market and you eat and you like. I've never eaten a strawberry sandwich. Yes, you did. Zero percent, never. <laughs> I would have questioned my whole life if that happened. Okay. But yeah, so 
That's weird. If you want to get fruit to that, even buying like fruit juices and stuff is not that like, good. It's not easy. No, buy fruit juices is easy. Like in the market, industrial ones, mm. you find like 100 portion natural fruits and vegetables juice. With air quotes, air quotes. But it's, it's t terrible taste. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing is like fruits are so seasonal here. Like a little country, no? It's like you. Well, for me, it's a big country. Uh, uh, from Brazil, for me, it's a fucking little country. Yeah. It's almost a neighborhood. <laughs> Japan's a neighborhood. Um, but like, I never know what season it is until like you walk into a convenience store and suddenly everything is strawberry flavor. Like, all right, then it's strawberry season, is it? Speaking of, look, they're growing some little tomatoes over there in their little garden. No. How it is. Have people in Japan used to plant a lot. Mm. That's your favorite thing. When we go to like the little, because we live a bit more in the countryside, you go to them little markets and that, where it's like a little local produce. I love. It's so fresh and delicious. Every chance favorite is when, near where we go swimming at Lake, there's a little vending machine that you can buy shit from and she loves to go to that little vending machine to buy onions or something. I love, other day I bought eggplants there. Yeah. And other day I bought eggplants from the market near home. Mm. The taste difference is so big. Mm. Well, there you go. So, if you come into Japan, you're driving on these bumpy roads causing noise, and you want to eat fruit, you better buy some lottery tickets for an hope. That's what you better do. You got any final thoughts, Eri Chan, about the cost of fruit and vegetables in Japan? Mm, it's fucking expensive. Well, that is. But it's worth. But it's worth it if you can afford it. It's good. Good thing is you can buy an apple that'll last you a week because it's fucking massive. Well, there I, you go. I, I I give myself a present every year and I buy me a fucking big peach. <laughs> for like 2,000 yen. Do you know like, have you ever seen that film James and the Giant Peach? No. It's a Roald Dahl book and it's about this massive peach basically. What I think happened is Japan saw that and were like, let's just make regular peaches like James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> oh yeah, alright. Anyway, so cheers for listening or watching, whatever it is you're doing, I don't bloody know. Hopefully you're doing alright. And as always, Let's you next time. <laughs> Do you actually know what the song is? No. <laughs>for finding my video today I appreciate that there's some other videos on screen if you want to watch some stuff about Japan and we've also got the Jadan fam on patreon who are awesome and support what I do that's patreon.com slash Jadan Dan Dan before you go do me a favor and smash that subscribe button cheers <laughs>